just said that the expression, judge not lest ye be judged, is improper, and that in fact one should judge, and one ought to be prepared to be judged. Is that correct? Very correct. Okay. And yet it... Go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. no, go ahead. I was saying it is extremely difficult, uh, the judging of other people, and I wanted to ask you a question or two about that, and it's something... I face all the time. I guess everyone uh, probably is judging everybody all the time anyway, whether they think they ought to well, be or have not. To. Of course. Um, when do you classify someone as immoral? Only when he has done, and done, uh, in fact, some immoral action. What I co classify as moral or immoral, I will refer you to Gold's speech in Atlas Shrugged, uh, or the objectivist ethics in a book called Virtue of Selfishness, which you mentioned, uh, there you would have see a small list of what are the virtues, what are the vices under objectivism, and uh, that's not an exhaustive list, but the increases would give you the essentials. And when s someone in action does something which you know can prove is an immoral, a vicious action, a sin, not a value, uh, or a vice, whichever you want to call it, then you have to judge him as he has proved. You never judge a person on mere potentials, and you seldom judge him on what he says, because most people uh, do not really speak very exactly, and on the basis of someone inadvertent remark, you would not judge a person as immoral. If, however, he goes about the country preaching immoral ideas, then you would classify him as immoral. Well, there are people that I meet who, who, are, who are mixed. In other words, they, they hold certain virtues, but then in particular situations, they may uh, um, uh, act against uh, the virtue or the sin or yes. the evil. Um, is that like you can't be a little bit pregnant, which is that if you're a little bit immoral, you're immoral, your, your character is rated immoral? In fact, yes. Be but the important thing here is the degree of knowledge that a given person has. Uh, if you do not know exactly the nature of what you are doing, uh, then you can't be considered immoral, particularly if it's a young person, uh, and it's then correctable. A person can make a mistake and correct it, but it would have to be a major crime. For instance, if you catch a person lying, let's use that as an example, I would never forgive that at all. I would regard that as a top immorality, and regard that person as immoral, regardless of what kind of virtues he or she might have. Needless to say, if uh, you have a robber or a murderer, or a person who is systematically breaking the rights of other people, you would call him immoral, no matter what lesser virtues he might have. So you, uh, in judging people of mixed premises, as most people are, you have to balance in effect, uh, hierarchically, the seriousness of their virtues and of their vices, and see what you get in the net result. Mr. Man, we spoke in the last program about morality, and I did have uh, uh, one final question about that. And it's a broad general question about how to deal with people who are immoral. What level of contact is acceptable? For example, is it acceptable to trade with, to buy, to sell, uh, from or to someone that is immoral? Well, if you do know it, it is very advisable not to. If you know someone to be immoral, dishonest, cheating you, or dealing with bad countries abroad, such as dealing with Soviet Russia, if I know it about a given person, I would not deal with him. But you cannot spend your life inquiring into researching and censoring the views of all the people you deal with, so that unless it's come to your knowledge, you don't inquire into the morality of people with whom your dealings are very simple, usually simply a financial trade.
in a store. You buy a given product from a given store and that's it. If, however, it is a more close and long range exchange, if it's a question of for whom you'll work or whom you would employ, then you have to have more precise standards and you certainly should not want to work for or employ immoral people. But here again, you have to be careful. If you cannot pronounce uh, your employer immoral because he doesn't agree with you. You cannot set yourself up as his censor. You can only judge if he has not done anything immoral in his business and doesn't require any moral action from you, then you can accept him. If, however, you know that he's a receiver of stolen goods and he wants you to cheat customers, then you do not deal with an employer of that kind. Is there any reason to treat family members any differently than you would treat other people in this context? None, whatever. I am very much against family uh, in that kind of sense, in a sense which makes uh, a small tribe out of a family and makes you tied to every second cousin and aunt and uncle, uncles that you might have. Uh, the only exception is, of course, in regard to your parents, because their the relationship is different from that to any other person, and you have to acknowledge that. Uh, generally, you do not break with your parents as easily as you would with other members of the family. Other members you have to judge as you would every person you meet. If you don't approve of them, you don't become friendly. You cannot choose your parents in that sense, and you have to give them a long, long benefit of the doubt uh, and permit them, in effect, more offenses against yourself than you would to friends or acquaintances. You have to give them a certain credit for the fact that they chose to give birth to you and took care of you while you were helpless. But it's not an unlimited claim, and if uh, you clash with your parents too much, then you have to maintain an attitude of polite duty and see as little of them as possible. And that's probably the only realm in which I recognize such a thing as duty. As a rule, it's a very wrong concept uh, because it asks you to do something for which you have no reason. But the one reason that, that your parents gave you life would make you do more for them or bear, bear more from them than any other.